I think you know when you come into a school, you get a real feel for the place. It's an inviting and a welcoming place. I think it's quite inclusive for everyone, so everyone seems to fit in quite well. I'm much more relaxed with the pupils. They're comfortable in your classroom. I find my teachers really positive, happy and want me to do well. It feels as if you are doing the job that you trained to do. It reiterates that this is the place to be, this is the place to teach. In my previous school, it was a very big school, it was over 1,500 pupils. And they could easily be anonymous to you. Whereas I think that's one of the fantastic things about Aaron High is the relationship with the pupils. Because there's not as many people, it means the class sizes are smaller, so it means the teachers are able to give you more help. As a teacher here, you know all the pupils, you know all their names. The standard of behaviour here is, is much better. The workload is almost reduced because you know the kids so well. I feel like it's easier almost to meet their needs. They see you as someone who's more invested in, in them. All the teachers are really supportive in everything you do. I think the relationships that you have with your classes are, they're, they're different, more uh, reciprocal. They are really good at encouraging you as well. They see you as a person and a teacher. You just get along with them really well. It feels as if you are doing the job that you were trained to do. The campus is the nursery, primary and secondary school together and I particularly really like that because my youngest child is in nursery so I bring her to work with me in the morning basically and she goes off to nursery. It feels like a safer environment to bring up your kids. I think they're children for longer almost and then I think we've got that safety that we give them that little bit more freedom as well. It's a rural community um, and I don't think we have the same influences. A lot of the kids come to school with shorts and uh, their school polo shirt on, which just creates a very relaxed environment. There's no issues about wearing the latest trainers or not, and I think that's a fantastic thing for them. The kids are comfortable. You know, they're comfortable in what they're wearing. They're comfortable in your classroom, and they see it as a shared space rather than your space. You know, they'll come in, they'll just open the windows, they'll get their stuff out. And I think that those things help the pupils to just be themselves. They'll ask questions, answer questions and chat away in discussions. Still learning, still teaching, but just in a more relaxed environment. The facilities are fantastic. Um, sports facilities, we're really, really fortunate. There's our AstroTurf, our inside facilities, our fitness suites, really state-of-the-art stuff. We've got the games hall, dance studio, the grass football pitch outside, there's the mountain bike shed. There's a big art room that you can go to get support or you can go to music. There's lots of music rooms, all the different instruments you can play. The workshop that's down in the design and graphics area, that's quite good because it's got lots and lots of different machines. Theatre. They'll have like Christmas showcases and summer showcases. The school provides so many extracurricular activities and clubs for the kids. I think it's tremendous the amount of activities that they offer. They've really went above and beyond. When I first started here, I thought that my journey as a teacher might be limited, and I'd say that that's definitely not the case. In some ways, you get more experience teaching everything that you might not get in a bigger school. The department I'm in as a sole teacher of biology, chemistry and physics. That gives you tremendous autonomy on how you want to shape the courses that you deliver. The school's been a great place for me to learn my craft and I've been given a lot of autonomy. My uh, professional judgement for my subject is respected. As a community as a whole, Aaron's a great place. There's always something going on in Ireland. So the mountain biking club, we rely on funding from the community as well as external funders being able to provide a club with bikes, helmets, jackets, everything you need. So it's a really good thing that's coming to the school. So you're, you're with him within uh, Aaron High through the day and then you walk out the door and you've got the Lumlash Bay right there. Never take that for granted. Aaron's actually a fair old size, so there's a lot here. You definitely have to get out and explore it a bit, go for walks. It's quite a lot of stuff to do. There's great pubs and restaurants as well and my family and friends are always looking for an excuse to come to the island. I love my job over here, I love Aaron. 
But I don't think I could actually live on an island if it was further away from the mainland. And the boat is a 55 minute journey and the train picks you straight up at, at Ardrossan Harbour. So you tend to find that if, if you want a weekend off the island that's very easy. But even if you want to just spend the time here, that's equally as good. You've got your uh, work and your life over here but you're also so close to the city as well so you can still um, shop and meet friends. So you've kind of got the best of both worlds. For many people they reject the, the idea of working in Arran because it seems to be too remote, too rural and that is absolutely not the case. When you come into a school you get a real feel for the place and it's a real uh, nice atmosphere over here. Come here and soak it up and get involved. If you're working in such a fantastic environment it's always going to be a positive. It's been a great place for me to start my career and actually embed myself in the community. Because we are a community that, that has to travel backwards and forwards in a theory, we have to be vibrant, we have to be forward thinking. And for me, this is a place that gives and keeps on giving. I wouldn't want to be uh, going off anywhere. I could see myself here to retirement. Absolutely. I wake up in the morning uh, and uh, I, I'm looking forward to coming out of work. When I started I thought I'd come for one year, two years, see where it goes, but 16 years later it's clearly eh, where I want to be.